Hey guys, welcome to the gun shop and today we're going to be discussing the 410 caliber. So the 410, the second smallest commercially available shotgun shell, the smallest being a 9mm, probably the smallest practical shotgun caliber. Uh, 410, so called because the bore diameter is 0.41 of an inch or 10.4 millimeters. 410 first appears in centerfire and pinfire in 1957 in an advert by Ely Brothers. However, its modern format was only really advertised in 1974. Very important to state that 410 is an English caliber. Around the turn of the century, 410 really took off in popularity, either as a small bird gun, a rat gun, or to be honest, as a self-defense walking stick gun. You might see the 410 advertised as 36 gauge, but this is actually a fallacy because 36 gauge would be significantly bigger. I think it actually works out as a 72 gauge. Hence, it is a 410 ball or a 410 caliber. So what loads are commercially available in a 410? Most 410s won't be loaded with much more than a shot size five. So between a seven and a five are very available. Most people won't go above that five purely because the load weights, 20 gram being about the maximum load weight, you just don't get the pellet count in a shot size five. Of course, there are manufacturers out there who do do triple A's and SSG's and all that kind of thing. But in reality, the actual practical use of those is fairly minimal. Chamber length today obviously have expanded since the original two inch. You have two, two and a half and three inch loads. As I've said, between nine and 20 grams. Most manufacturers will produce a plastic water standard with very few manufacturers actually producing a fiber. And this is because most manufacturers will agree that loading a very consistent fiberboard or fiberboard to their own standards is probably one of the hardest calibers to load commercially. You'll see a lot of people say that the 410 is a great beginner's gun. In reality, because of the low shock charge, it's just not true. In fact, it weighs in as much more of an expert's gun to the point that actually one of the hardest and most prestigious clay competitions out there is the 410 Championship. If you hadn't guessed already, 410 has a very dedicated following and that goes all the way from the, the clay shooting side all the way to through to game days that you are only allowed to use a 410 on. So the real benefits of a 410 is the lightweight nature of the gun. Obviously with a very small cartridge, you need a fairly small chamber, a fairly small action, so everything can be scaled down. Obviously this small gun with the smallest of charges, let's say an 11 gram or a nine gram, really doesn't recoil a lot. So you have a lightweight gun with very low recoil. However, those two positives are outweighed by the large negative. That negative is the low pellet count that comes with a light charge. Low pellet count, sparser pattern, sparser pattern, less chance of either a clean kill or a clean break. As an example, I have here an 11 gram Rio 6 and I have here a clear pigeon 30 gram 6. And I'm gonna cut them both open. I'm gonna pour the lead on the side and see the real difference. So first off, just look at the size difference. It is rather insane. And let's cut them open and have a look. So there we have the clear pigeon 30 gram of six, a fairly average game load. Here we have the Rio 11 grams of six. It doesn't take much saying, but 11 grams is almost a third of 30 grams. And as such, you have a third of the ball count. And you can see here, that's almost rather embarrassing, isn't it? Although obviously your range is not limited ballistically by the speed and power of the pellets, what you are limited with the 410 is the actual density of your patterns at range. And as such, it's got an effective killing range of 25 to 30 meters. All I'm doing is reiterating here that a 410 really isn't that easy to shoot. And actually giving one to a child to learn to shoot with could be considered cruel. Obviously something that is less applicable in the UK is that the 410 rim size is very similar to a 45 Colt. And as such, there's a lot of crossover between the two in pistols and the like abroad. So the actual actions that you can have in a 410 are very, very varied. Probably the most varied of any caliber. You obviously get pistols, as we've just said, that cross over the 45 Colt. You get bolt actions, such as this, three shot bolt actions, magazine fed, converted Lee Enfields, single shot, converted rook rifles, cybersides, over and unders, pump action, semi-automatics, martinis. Literally the list is endless. Obviously the Winchester lever action. And as such, there's a lot of variety and a lot of fun to be had with a 410. All right, so that being the case, we're gonna take this three-shot Norica out and we're gonna shoot some pattern plates. This particular one is half choked. Choke-wise, although multi-chokes are obviously now available in 410, most of the guns you'll find will either be half or full choke. This one being a half choke, let's go see what a 410 half choke looks like on paper. Two pattern plates, 25 meters away. 90 grams of six on the right, 11 grams of six on the left.
Right, let's walk the short distance and see what this 410 did. I think we can all see that that pheasant there is a very dead pheasant. You know, I don't think there's particular overkill for a bird of that range, it's very dead. It would have given me an extra probably five or 10 yards if I really wanted to push the limits of that gun. Um, I don't mean push the limits. These are plastic rods, they do hold together a little bit better. Let's go have a little look, see what the nine grams of fiber did. All right, so the 11 grams of six plastic wad, and here we go. Another very dead pheasant. So 25 yards isn't a hugely long way. However, reining yourself in with the 410 is the key feature. It doesn't have the density up much past that 35 yard mark to make clean kills. But within that, it can be one of the most fun game and clay cartridges out there. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, you're looking to test your skills, perhaps try a 410. It could be fun. Hi guys, welcome to the gun shop. 